Well, hello again, everyone. Um, hopefully today's video blog slash lesson slash whatever it is that I'm doing here <laughs> will be um, pretty short. Um, just want to talk about something real quick, but before I do, because uh, I know my mom watches all my videos, because you know, mothers always watch their kids' videos. But, um, Mom, there's the bracelet you got for me. Isn't it pretty? And it's a good color. Because, like, the white and the silver goes good with anything. And also, check it out, everybody. I got my new hair accessory. The black flower. I got my cousin Sue's scarf that she made wearing it again. So, just a shout out to my mom. And, uh,. And my cousin Sue, and a shout out to Walgreens for having this thing on sale. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, sometimes I'm off topic a little bit. Um, what I wanted to talk about was not settling. Specifically for marriage. Um, I kind of think of it like, you know, it's a special occasion, your, your, I don't know, maybe it's your birthday or uh, graduation or some sort of celebration and you're going out to eat with your family, maybe a few close friends, you're just going to have a good time and you get there and you're looking over the menu. And you just like, man, you know, I really want the blackened salmon with the, you know, roasted potatoes and, you know, <laughs> whatever. You know, the, you've got something on your mind. You had, you kind of knew in your mind what you had, what you would want, or, or uh, an idea of what you would like. Um to order for this special occasion and celebration. And then you get there and instead of ordering that, you know, you, you got in your mind for salmon or maybe steak and something like that. You, know, you got it in your mind and you get there and you're getting ready to order, like, yeah, let's do steak. Let's do a ribeye. Oh yeah. So you're there ordering a ribeye steak and you're getting ready to place your order and the waitress or the server tells you we're all out of steak but we've got chicken or we've got a nice uh, hamburger that you can have so you have to settle unless you get up and go to another restaurant and get yourself that ribeye you know all your friends like, ah, oh, come on, you know, chicken's good and hamburger's good, you know, but you had it in, no, I really want the ribeye. But you end up settling for the chicken or for the hamburger because the ribeye wasn't available, at least not at that point. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. You know, the, the world of courting or dating, however you want to call it, um, it's kind of like going to that restaurant, you know, and looking at that menu. There's, as a female, you know, there's all kinds of guys out there. As a man, there's all kinds of women out there. Um, but, like I talked about before, having that list in your mind of what you're looking for, you know what you want, just like that person knew they wanted the ribeye steak when they went to the restaurant. But... They're looking around and they see a bunch of chickens, or they, or they see a bunch of hamburgers. They don't see any ribeye. Okay, and instead of being like, you know what, I think I'll just go to another restaurant, or I think I'll just wait. You know, you don't have ribeyes now. When will you have them? I'll just wait and get my ribeye then because I really want a ribeye. And it's the same thing. It's like. Sometimes, especially as females, we're so, you know, hungry for love and 
to be appreciated, to be wanted, to be needed, um, affection, and all those things that we settle for the chicken. You know, we settle for something that's like second, third, fourth best from what God really intended for us to have. And I've been there, done that, <laughs> okay, a couple of times, and it's... It's disheartening because, it can be disheartening because you know you should have the ribeye. You know the ribeye is the best thing for you, but because you're really hungry, you sell for the hamburger or the chicken. And I've settled for some hamburgers and some chickens over uh, the course of my life. But there is a ribeye out there. There is that man, and ladies, I'm speaking directly to you now. There is that man out there that God has been preparing for you. You know, just like that ribeye steak has to age a little bit before it gets mm, good and juicy. You know, it's the same thing. It's like there's this man out there that is, God is preparing him. And he's preparing you too. He's making you his ribeye, and vice versa. And it's like, but well, we just, we settle. Because we don't want to be alone, because we want to have a family, we want to have children, and then next thing you know, you're, you're in a, a, a loveless, affectionless marriage. Not that it can't work out, it could, you know, once you're married, that is the one you're supposed to be with, you know, scripturally. But, for me, I would rather not settle. I would rather just wait until I know that I know that it's my ribeye. I want that ribeye. I want it mid-well. I want some sautéed onions and mushrooms on the top of it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Okay. So that's the kind of man that I'm waiting for. The one that God has specifically prepared for me. So don't settle. I've been there before, I've settled, and I have been hurt very badly. And because I settled, you know, not that I made that person treat me badly, but I kind of should have seen what was coming. And that's happened to me more than once. So don't settle. Don't settle. It's not worth it. It's not worth the heartache. Just to say that you're dating someone. Just to say that you have someone. You know, um, I like a lot of the Medea shows. I remember in one of her plays, <laughs> or his plays, Tyler Perry playing Medea, um, Medea said, I would rather be alone, single, alone, sitting in a corner with a puppet and a goldfish, and be happy. <laughs> Then, you know, to be in a relationship with someone that I'm wondering, why in the world am I even with you? Why are you even here? <laughs> I had to be desperate, <laughs> you know? So, I, me personally, I'd rather be single and enjoy my single life and, and do whatever God wants me to do and accomplish whatever God wants me to accomplish at this point in my life. I'd rather do that and be patient and wait for the ribeye than settle for some bland, dry chicken. No more chicken. Ribeye from here on out. Or salmon if you're not a steak person. Salmon is probably one of the best fish you can eat. You don't want the fried catfish when you go, no, you want that. Expensive cut of salmon. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, just an encouragement for you to not settle. You deserve better. And you deserve God's best. So hang in there. And I'm preaching to myself at this moment. I'm telling myself, Rachel, hang in there. The ribeye is coming. Until next time. God bless you.